Hello friends, welcome back to Learn and Get Tutorials. This is our first video in our Jenkins tutorial series. And these are the topics we are going to cover throughout this series. Also, we will add more topics in the future. In this video, I am going to talk about the Jenkins introduction, key features and advantages of Jenkins, and simple CICD workflow along with multi environment CICD workflow. Links related to this tutorial series and documents will be mentioned in the description so you can make use of it. Before getting to the topic, just a small request to those who are watching this video from our YouTube channel for the first time. We have already uploaded a lot of videos and tutorial series on Ansible, Docker, Kubernetes and other technologies too. Please have a look. If you are interested in learning, then do subscribe now and click near the bell icon for more interesting and useful videos. Let's get started. Jenkins is an open source automation server and integration tool that will help us for continuous integration and continuous delivery process in software development. It is widely used in the software industry to automate various aspects of the software development lifecycle. It is not only can be used in software delivery, it can be used in any other automations like system administration tasks, infrastructure provisioning, many other things and it is written on java so it can be installed and used from any operating system where java is installed so it supports multiple platforms these are some of the advantages of jenkins still it has many more let's go through one by one continuous integration that is ca so jenkins automates the process of integrating code changes into shared repository allowing for frequent and automated testing of code so it detects and reports integration issues so early in the development process and it will improve your software quality. So CA in Jenkins reduces the risk of integration problems during the later stages of development and continuous delivery. In addition to continuous integration, Jenkins can be extended to support continuous delivery that is CD. So CD involves automating the deployment of code changes to various environment such as development, staging and production in a consistent and reliable manner. The next one is open source and community. So Jenkins is an open source project with a strong community of contributors and users. And this community continuously develops and maintains plugins and their extensions offering support through forums, documentations and third party resources. The another advantage of Jenkins is automations. Jenkins enables the automation of repetitive and time consuming tasks in the software development process. It allows developers to define and execute jobs which can include building applications, running testings and deploying to different environments all without manual intervention. The other advantages of Jenkins is plugin architecture. Jenkins offers a vast ecosystem of plugins that extends its functionality. These plugins help integrate Jenkins with various tools, technologies and platforms. For example, if you have Ansible or if you have a Docker, Kubernetes or any other technologies that can be integrated along with Jenkins through this kind of plugins, then it is very easy to use. Jenkins provides a user-friendly web-based interface that simplifies configuration and job management. It has a low learning curve, make it easily accessible to both developers and non-technical team members. And it supports multiple platforms. Jenkins can run on various operating systems, including Windows, Linux, Mac OS and more as it is written in Java. The another advantage of Jenkins is distributed builds. So Jenkins can be set up with a master-slave architecture allowing you to distribute build and testing workloads across multiple machines. This distributed builds improves performance, reduce build times and enhance scalability with high availability slave nodes. Then Jenkins is customizable. It allows you to define and configure build and deployment pipelines as a code using Jenkins files or pipeline DSL. So you can meet your specific project requirements and workloads with this customizable feature. And it is robust security. 
Jenkins offers security features to protect your CI/CD pipelines and sensitive data. It supports user authentication, role-based access controls, and integration with external security systems. This ensures that the CI/CD process remains secure. Then, comprehensive testing. Jenkins integrates seamlessly with various testing tools and frameworks, allowing you to perform a wide range of tests, including unit tests, integration tests, and functional tests. So, comprehensive testing helps identify and fix the issues early and ensuring the software quality. Then, scalability. Jenkins is highly scalable and it can handle the needs of both small and large organizations. With distributed builds, you can scale horizontally by adding more build agents as your project grows. Then, finally, web interface. Jenkins provides a web-based user interface for configuration, job management, and monitoring. This makes it easily accessible to both developers and operation teams with support for role-based access control. So these are some of the advantages of Jenkins, but still Jenkins has a lot more. Let's understand the CACD workflow from this diagram. So this is a simple example of CACD workflow from code development to deployment. So this CACD workflow involves various stages like code development, build stages, artifact generations, deployment stages, automated testings, manual testings, approvals, deployment to productions, continuous monitoring, rollback, logging and reporting. So every CI/CD workflow will have a different different stages. According to this diagram, it starts from code development. So where the developers will be committing the code on the development phases. When the code is committed, the CA server, that is the Jenkins, detects the change and CA server automatically triggers a build process. This build stage will check out the latest code from the repository and it will compile the code and it will create the code based on your project requirement like executable or artifactory. So this build may include unit test to ensure code quality. If the build or test fails, the team will be notified. And the next stage is testing. It can be an automated testing or it can be a manual testing. Then you have a staging environment. It will be varying from the different uh, projects. Um, we can consider this as a non-production environment or staging environment. After deploying your code, it can be deployed to your next higher environment like dev or QA. Then finally, it will be deployed to production. So after deployment, the application is continuously monitored for performance, security and other metrics. If any issue is detected, the alerts will be triggered to the respective teams. So this is the simple CACD workflow. But actual implementation can be vary depending on the organization tools that you used and based on the specific environments. Let's see this multi-environment CACD workflow. Previously, we have seen the simple CACD workflow from code development to the deployment stage. But how this can be achieved with the multi-environment? After testing, that will be going to staging area, then it will go to the higher environment, then finally it will go to the production environment. For all this, the code development should have a dedicated branch for each environment for this smooth CACD. So here, on this source code management, you will have different different branches being created for your environments. For development environment, you will have a different branch, something like develop branch, or for QA, you can have a QA branch, for pre-prod, you can have a pre-prod branch, and prod, you can have a prod branch. The concept of the CA CD workflow is the developer will keep on developing a code and they will be pushing the code to that develop branch. Then the code will be compiled and it will be created as an executable or artifactory. Then that will be deployed to the development environment alone. So the developer make the changes on the code level and they will be pushing only to the development branch, not to any other branches. After the testing from this environment, then the code from this development branch will be push to QA branch. From this QA branch, the code will be deployed to QA environment. 
So if you have a dedicated branch for each environment, there will not be any conflicts or mismatch of your codes. This is how the multi environment CACD workflow will be implemented and this will be vary depending on the organization and the project environments. After completing the testing of QA environment, then based on your project, you may have only one branch like QA that can be deployed to QA pre prod prod. On some projects, you may have a dedicated branch for pre prod as well and prod as well. Here we have only one QA branch that is deployed to QA. After finishing the testing, then again the same code from QA will be deployed to pre prod. And once the testing is completed on pre prod environment, again the code from the code QA branch will be deployed to production environment. If all good in production environment, that release code is considered as a stable version and that will be deployed to master branch. This is a simple multi environment CACD workflow. That's it for this video. Hope you have got an idea about the Jenkins introduction, key features and advantages and CACD workflow along with multi environments. See you in the next video. Till then, keep practicing and have fun.